Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be about why the zebra is the mascot for the Ehlers Danlos Society. So I'm going to start the video out with a quote by Professor Rodney Graham. Quote, no other disease in the history of modern medicine has been neglected in such a way as Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, end quote. In America, almost 650,000 cases of EDS are missed annually, based on studies that suggest almost 95% of cases presenting in a clinic are completely missed, and most often are misdiagnosed with things such as rheumatoid arthritis, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, thyroid issues, etc. The reason why the zebra is the mascot for the EDS community is because commonly in medical school, students for decades have been taught when you hear hoofbeats behind you, don't expect to see a zebra. What this means, in other words, is that they're taught to look for the more common diagnoses and kind of not assume that things are rare diseases. So the zebra became the EDS community's symbol because sometimes when you do hear hoofbeats, it is a zebra. Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are unexpected by doctors because they're rare. And when you see a zebra, you know it's a zebra, but no two zebras have the same stripes, just as every person with EDS experiences it differently. But people with rare disorders do exist you're looking at one. And when doctors don't know much about rare diseases because they're told to not look for them, it's even more difficult for people like me to be diagnosed. A majority of people with EDS have been labeled hypochondriacs at some point during their life. I know I was. I was called it so many times that I actually believed it myself. I called myself a hypochondriac and started to believe that all of the problems that were happening were just in my head and that I was making them up. For example, when I was a child, my pediatrician jokingly said to me in front of my mom, Shelby, you're an expensive child, which I know she was saying it just jokingly, but looking back, it's like, if you knew that there was so much going on and so many things wrong with me, why didn't you do anything about it? Why didn't you look into it more? I mean, what's the point of being a doctor if you can recognize that something's wrong, but you don't look into what it is? Another example is last year when I finally decided that I was going to work harder at finding a diagnosis, I came to my chiropractor who I'd been seeing about three times a week and doing physical therapy with, and I asked him if he thought that maybe there was anything similar to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because I'd started researching it and it sounded familiar, but I was kind of gaslighting myself and saying that I wasn't bad enough to have EDS. And so I asked him if there was something similar that I could have going on or maybe have like a very mild case of EDS, which I actually don't. I have a pretty normal case. And he asked me, he was like, well, can you bend your finger all the way back to your arm? And I was like, no. And then he laughed at me and was like, oh, well, then you don't have EDS. You just need to come in more and get adjusted more and do more physical therapy. He laughed at me. And then, you know, that really sidetracked me trying to find a diagnosis because I was like, well, people think I'm crazy then, me bringing this up. And so, you know, it's just, it's so detrimental when doctors and people who work with the human body don't even know about this disorder and don't know what it actually looks like in real people. It's detrimental to people who actually have the disorder because we don't get diagnosed properly. I mean, just recently, I was talking with an older extended family member of mine who's been a chiropractor for probably 50 years, and he was asking me why I was wearing a bunch of braces, and I told him that I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and he didn't believe me at first. He kind of was asking me questions like, oh, well, who diagnosed you with that? And well, what joints dislocate and blah, blah, blah. And I, you know, I answered all his questions and then, and he was just kind of like, wow, like I've heard of it, but I've never seen it in all of my years of chiropractics because it's so rare. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's rare, but like people with rare diseases do exist. You know, we, we have the disorder. We know what we have. And when doctors don't believe you, it's the most irritating thing in the world. Even my own doctor, who has classical EDS and she now specializes in EDS, MCAS, and POTS, she went through all of medical school without even knowing that she had Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. She told me that throughout her entire time in medical school, they had one paragraph in their genetics textbooks about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome 
and they had one presenter come in about genetics and talked about it for about a minute. It was just a brief little blip in all of medical school and she had the disorder herself and she didn't even know she had it because there was that little information about it in medical school. After she had graduated medical school, she then found out that she, her mother, and her grandmother have had EDS their entire lives and nobody knew about it because there's no information out there about it. It typically takes an average of 10 to 20 years to get diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Most people typically get diagnosed in around their 40s. I was lucky to get diagnosed early on in my life, as in 23 years old, so right now. I mean, just these few examples and the zebra quote just goes to show that not many people know about EDS, which is the main reason that I made this YouTube series in general is to try to educate people and spread awareness about the disorder. So if you're interested, please check out my other videos on EDS. Um, I go into more detail about it in a lot of my other videos. Please consider sharing them with your friends and family and helping me to spread awareness about this disorder. The more information we can get out, the more people we can hopefully help to be properly diagnosed instead of being misdiagnosed with other things that they can't treat. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay strong, my zebra warriors, and I will see you guys next time.